Hey everyone, I'm Sean, the developer behind Playdate Pulp, which is free to use and available now. Many of us at Panic were really impressed by Bitsy, a browser-based game maker with cool limitations created by Adam Ledoux. Bitsy lets you easily create narrative adventure games without having to write any code. We wanted to create a Playdate tool similar to Bitsy, 
so you can make Playdate games as easily as Bitsy lets you make non-Playdate games. So I worked with designer Nevin Mergen to create Pulp and tailored it to the Playdate's unique black and white screen. Compared to the Playdate SDK, which is a robust development environment for more experienced programmers, Pulp is a relatively simple tool. And I think that simplicity and Pulp's constraints will make game development that much more accessible to everyone. We've already been really surprised by some of the cool things people have done with Pulp despite its constraints. You can create tiny animated tiles and arrange them into rooms. Rooms can be connected into a world where the player can talk with sprites and collect items, all without any programming. But you also have access to a simple, terse but powerful language called PulpScript that allows you to expand upon Pulp's basic interactions. It even has a fairly full-featured music and sound editor, so you can create a cool little game with a look and sound all its own. And the best part is, you can export your Pulp game to a PDX file and play it on your play date. Remember, that PDX file is yours. Share it with your friends who can play it on their Playdate. They can even play it on their computer for free using the Playdate simulator, which is included in the SDK. Post it or sell it to sites like Itch, you own it, and you can make and play pulp games even if you don't have a Playdate yet. It really is a tool for everyone. So I think people who are brand new to game development or who just have an idea for a cool story to tell are going to have a lot of fun with pulp. Thanks for checking it out! to get this chance to recap our developer tools for you. And as always, we can't wait for you to get your play. And we'll keep working non-stop until you do. So, and one last little thing. As people start to get their devices, we're excited to tell you about the bonus we're going to do this season one. Ready? Podcast. I had so much fun talking to developers, designers, and the team behind the play. And we're really excited to share their stories. The first episode, The Story of Blue, is available now. So I hope you give it a listen and subscribe. And even if you don't think you're ready right away, the podcast will be there waiting for you. Thank you so much for watching this update. And if you have a website, it's already updated on Twitter. For more news and information, stay tuned. Bye for now.